Here's a question for you. Who's the weirdest politician in America? There's a lot of possible candidates from Bernie, who doesn't know how to comb his hair, from Eric Swalwell, who's sleeping with Chinese spies when he's not being flatulent on live television. But I think you know the answer to who the weirdest one of all is. Of course, it's cackling Kamala. Um, not today. <laughs> Is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> who also has a mother who arrived here at the age of 19 from India, who also, you know, likes hip hop. <laughs> like, it's a big deal. More parents are seeing the value of educators when they had to bring their kids <laughs> and say, we're not paying them nearly enough. <laughs> That's not weird. That's creepy. And Americans know it too. Look at these recent polling figures. The woman who couldn't get 2%, 2%, of the results, the support in the Democrat primary is underwater. She's tanking. She's in the toilet when it comes to her popularity. And she's now the vice president. What happened to her old Senate seat, by the way, the one that she vacated to become the vice president? It's in California. Do we just consign it, condemn it to be owned by Democrats forever? Not if my next guest has anything to say about it. We met a few weeks ago uh, at a superb patriotic rally in Tulsa and uh, then started talking in the cigar bar down the road afterwards. His name is Dr. Cordy Williams, and he's already served this nation once as a Marine in uniform in my don't tell anybody my favorite service. I love them all, but the Marines are close to my heart. Two and a half years in Quantico teaching the Marines. Cordy Williams, welcome to the Gorka Reality Check. Sebastian, thanks for having me. It's an honor. Yeah, it was really interesting walk, uh, watching, watching Cackling Kamala um, do what she's done for, for years, decades almost, which is lie to her constituents, lie to her voters, and uh, generally get nothing done. So tell us, I mean, we had this fascinating conversation about California, how you never give up your decision. You just declared to run for Kamala's old Senate seat. Tell us why you're doing what, what you're doing in a state that so many patriots have just, just written off, Cordy. Well, Seb, I'm a doctor and a dad, and we should be able to control what goes into our kids' veins and what goes into their brains. And when big government tries to take that over, you know, it becomes a conversation not about red or blue. It's not about Biden or Trump. It's not about what gender you are, what race you are, who you go to bed with at night. It transcends partisan politics and it rolls into humanity. And that's really what we're talking about here. That's really the whole conversation. I'm a Trump guy. I'd vote for him again. I'm a Jesus guy. But that has no bearing on the political conversation that's before us, especially in California, because this is about kids and it's about choice. It's about the Fourth Amendment, it's about the Fifth Amendment, it's about the Fourteenth Amendment, which is deprivation of choice. And I believe that when you take away constitutional choice, you take away the republic. Yeah. Uh, this man's website is cordyforsenate.com, C-O-R-D-I-E, cordyforsenate.com. And what is your specific message to those who look at the last election, uh, look at the voter fraud that's rampant in cities like Philadelphia and Chicago and has been for decades? What is your message to those who live in California, live in your district and say, my vote doesn't count. Well, what I want to do is just inject them with a little bit of hopium. That's the only thing we're going to put in their bloodstream or their brain is, is hopium. Because here's the reality, Seb. The reality is if we don't fight, we roll right into socialism. If we don't stand up, if we don't have civil disobedience. And that's why I think lawmakers out there 
you know, uh, uh, obviously we have a duty to to our constituents to put up laws, to pass laws that are for the people and by the people. But I also think we have to use our political influence to really support civil disobedience, because that's the other part of kind of our, our legislative obligation that I don't think we've done. And so what I want to tell Californians is we need to fight. We need to get out and vote. That's the only way to change the republic, to turn the tide in California. Your vote does matter. If we get enough people with what happened in Virginia, what happened in New Jersey, there's only so much they can cheat. We know they cheated to what level we don't know yet, right? If you look at the canvassing, you look at everything out here, and I'm not here to talk about votes or what did or didn't happen. I'm here to talk about the future, and all we can do is vote. All we can do is follow the process and mobilize people. So I think you know, in the primary here on June 7th, getting folks out there in droves by the thousands to really put those people that are taking those ballots, putting them through the machines. We know they're going to be mail-in ballots, but, you know, have a group of people, 10,000, 5,000 at the secretary of state's office. The more pressure that we do as we, the people, the more they start to change their narrative. You're seeing that in with Southwest, yeah. uh, Southwest Airlines and all across the nation, you're seeing people react to people rising up. Yeah, this is very important when you talk about civil disobedience, this, this phrase, I don't know who gave it to you, but it's superb, that we should be in control of what they put in our child's veins and brains. The idea that my body, my choice is okay for killing babies, but not when it comes to vaccines. In San Francisco, five-year-olds are going to have vaccine passports to actually go into stores is sheer insanity. So it's time to take America back, guys. Be more like this Marine. He's worn the uniform already. He served the nation. You can see the photographs. Uh, go to CordyForSenate.com. God bless you, Dr. Williams. Next, here on the Reality Check. As ever, we close with Dr. G's prescription. Stay on this channel.